and slide that to extra. And I leave that dubbing right on the thread and split about what I need. Trim some of these guard hairs out of the way. And we'll take our next two set of legs. It's our goose bites. There again, we're going about the length of the gap of the hook. And do the far side first. Make a loose wrap or two. Hold that in place. Tighten it up. And then it's spun on me. It's afraid of that. Let's hold that again. There we go. Take this one, lay it along the side. Trim those butt sections fairly close. We already have the dubbing on the thread, but what I've left, so I'll go ahead and use that up. You can adjust the legs with that loose wrap. That one spun on me. And uh, that's one of those things, if you have it fairly loose, you haven't cinched it and damaged the material already, you can go back and fix it without replacing the material. I'll take this last set of legs here, loose wrap, and then go ahead and tighten that up. There we go. Tie in the next one. Um, the reason I use the goose bites on this particular nymph is pretty simple. Uh, if you look, any size of mayfly that is in the, the size 12, 10, the green drake, gray drake, brown drake nymphs, they're fairly large nymphs. One of the most predominant features is the legs. And I think when you have that, the tails, the legs that are really predominant that way, you need to, to actually over-exaggerate that on the imitation. Um, make sure that the fish get to see those. Uh, I feel it's important. It makes the fly, I think, more effective because it looks more natural to the fish that way. Okay, now we're going to take this wing case, lay it right over the top, tie it down. Several turns there. And I don't trim that butt section off just yet. Take and whip finish this right in the front. And most of your, your bigger, larger mayfly nymphs have a wide, flat head, again, similar to a stonefly. So I like to leave the butt section hanging out over the eye of the hook just a little bit and trim it. That way it can kind of flare and give that wide look to the head of the fly.